Hi, this is Center 2 for Teeth and Skulls in our bigger unit of adaptations. And this center is called What's for Dinner. So with this center, we're talking about the, the carnivores, omnivores, herbivores, and insectivores. And the kids get to um, kind of create their own menus um, for whatever animal that they're gonna choose. And so what you'll do, there are some elf eatery order forms. So each kid will get an elf eatery order form and then they get to choose an animal card. There are 23 different animals in here. And so I think probably the best would just be to hold it like a, a deck of cards and each kiddo gets to choose an animal card. And there's things like bison or sloth, rabbits, coyotes, and on the back, it'll identify the animal, but and it'll also have an H, or these are both herbivores, or let's see, there's another herbivore, or a C, a carnivore, and this is a weasel. Um, and so that, then you can, what you can have the kids do, for the, for the younger kids, you may wanna say, um, go through the different types of animals, the, the carnivore, herbivore, insectivores, and omnivores, and let them know, you know, what that means, what they, what each of those eat. Um, for the older kids, what you could do is um, have them guess, just based on, you know, what what does a mouse eat? So therefore, what do you think it is? You know, a little mouse um, eats grass, it eats seeds. What is that? Okay, it's an herbivore. So um, let them come up with that. And so on this little order form sheet. They can write down the animal that they chose and then they identify if it's a carnivore, um, herbivore, um, omnivore, and insectivore, and they can circle that. And then there is an elf eatery menu here. So for the younger kids, they could um, come up with their main dish, side dish, dessert, and drink that their animal would eat. For the older kids, they can use this as well, but what would be really fun for the older kids is just get really creative. They can come up with their own um, thing that something would eat, like a fried flowers. They could come up with their own, not flowers, but whatever. Whatever they come up with, they, they can be super creative. Um, with this unit as well, we have some skulls here, and we have a skull for each of these. This skull here is a badger. So the badger is the carnivore, and what you can do is talk with the kids about, you know, the different type of teeth here. Um, you'll notice that one of these canines is broken, um, so just be very gentle with that. Um, but you can talk about the different teeth with the carnivore versus this is a red fox. And let's see, I'm using my cheat sheet here. Oh, the, I guess the badger is the omnivore, so it eats everything. The carnivore would be the red fox. So again, you could talk about the teeth and compare the teeth, the molars, the canines, the incisors, and let the kids look at these. Do make sure that the kids are very careful with these. Best would be for um, the, the, us, the adults, to, to hold the skulls out and let the kids do a two, two finger touch and then just move them around. For the older kids, um, if they do want to, you know, if you think you've got a group that would handle this well, you could put this out on the foam piece and just move it to the up towards the kids and let the kids very gently pick it up, look at it, put it back down on the foam, and then the next kid come up and do the same thing. So just kind of see what your group is like, and it might change from group to group. But, and then I'll put this back in the box here and put this here. Um, and then at the end, the, oh, there's also an animal diet chart. So if the kids really aren't sure, let's say they choose an aardvark and they're really not sure if it's an omnivore or an herbivore, um, there are, you can visit, here's a cheat sheet. So aardvark, it will tell you insectivore, but you could just say, okay, an aardvark eats insects. What is it? Oh, it's an insectivore. So help the kids um, identify those. And then at the end, if you have time, then the kids can share the animal they chose and then the diet that they ate, that they're eating um, with each other. Uh, that's not necessary, but if you have time, it would be fun to do that. Or that you could go back and have them pick another animal card and they could learn about a different animal. So um, lots to do in this particular um, center, lots to see, lots of cool skulls to see. So. Um,
have fun and enjoy. Thanks.